that was Lamia with Game of Sacrifice. Check him out at Lamia at MySpace.com. Rocking your asses all the way from Italy. I am on the phone with the guys from Lamia, Flavio, Fabio, and Corrado. Welcome, guys. Hey. Dude, you guys rock. Uh, I was just saying how you sort of remind me of uh, At The Gates, uh, some Swedish metal, and I really dig it a lot. And I know a lot of the guys out there have been in the chat room are really liking it. Um, tell me a little about yourselves, a little history. Introduce yourselves. So, uh, the band was formed in December uh, 2001, 2001 from an idea of mine. And um, I wanted to found a thrash metal band. Uh, so, a few weeks later, the lineup was completed and was the same of our days, uh, with the exception of me. Uh, now, uh, uh, so, uh, Flack, Flavio, right. joined the band at the beginning of 2005 as the new lead guitarist. Uh, and, uh, with this contribution, uh, many things changed. Uh, we gradually turned our genre from the fresh gothic metal of the uh, early days to the melodic death black doom <laughs> <laughs> metal play today. Yeah. Uh, we also had a uh, mind changing and uh, we start to take much more seriously a band and our music and uh, now we are a band with uh, great passion and serious aims. Very cool, and it definitely shows. I like it a lot. Um, what what does uh, Lamia mean? What how does it translate? Okay, um, so Flavio. So um, Lamia it takes its name by um, Roman and Greek uh, mythology uh, figure that uh, was uh, Lamia was a beautiful queen of Lydia uh, that made Zeus fall in love with her. Right. And Hera was the the woman of uh, Zeus, uh, got jealous uh, and killed uh, for vengeance uh, the sons born uh, from the union. And um, for this reason, uh, Lamia uh, started to kill uh, the children of the other mothers by sucking their blood because uh, she went mad. And um, um, this behavior turned uh, her beautiful aspect in uh, in the forms of uh, horrible monsters. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and um, she was also able to um, change uh, again, turn back the, the, her aspect in the uh, form of a of a beautiful woman to seduce uh, the men and uh, kill uh, also them with the same method. And uh, for this reason, Lamia is uh, an antiliteram vampire. Uh, and this was the. A f very interesting, I think, uh, um, myth. Yeah. And uh, you can explain also our music because uh, in our music you can find passion and uh, you can find uh, more um, <laughs> uh, evil uh, aspects. Plus, you can suck blood. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm uh, suck blood, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. Blood's good for you, I hear. A lot of iron. Um, <laughs> what a. Uh, Starting out, what bands influenced you guys to uh, make the music you're making now? Did you a lot of diversity, or just pretty much into the hardcore stuff? Yeah, well, uh, we all uh, love uh, the Gothenburg scene, uh, so Dark Tranquility, Flames, uh, The Gates, uh, and the band uh, of, uh, of this period. Uh, and um, so Swedish death metal is uh, certainly one of our main influences. Uh, but we also love. Uh, the USA that medal, uh, for example, uh, just Jordan, uh, uh that uh, is uh, one of our favorite band, and but also Sentenced uh, November, that is uh, an Italian band. So we are proud of it. Uh, this section, Anathema, Paradise Lost, uh, uh, Madame Bride, uh, Catatonia, they are also a band that uh, influences our music uh, in a big way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I I dig a lot of those bands you just mentioned. Like I said, at the gates we, I play, and uh, yeah. I, you definitely hear some influences there, which is very cool. And uh, yeah, so I like it a lot. Um, yes. <laughs> back in uh, late 2004, early 2005, Flavio, uh, you joined the band after the old guitarist yeah. left. 
Um, how was the transition, and was there any changes that were made by either you or by the band itself to uh, get everything together? Well, I don't think I'm the, the right guy to answer to this question, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I make you talk with Corrado, but okay. bass player. Hi, Joe. Hey, bro, what's up? Uh, as you know, uh, we are all friends, uh, and uh, we were friends before uh, Flavio joined the band. And uh, when, the, uh, when uh, Hugo left the band, it was um, a very difficult moment for all the band. Uh, but uh, the entrance of Flavio on lead guitar uh, meant a breakthrough, not only from the point of view of a composition, he actually composes most of the music, oh, but cool. also from the point of view of uh, approach. He helped us to clarify our objectives and attitude, and he made everything seem easier to achieve. We love you, Flavio. <laughs> <laughs> we love you too, and it's not gay to love another man. <laughs> um... Uh, in January 2007, you guys released your first CD, An Eternal Memory. Uh, how was that received by the critics and the fans and everything? Okay, it's Fabio. Yeah. Um, uh, an Eternal Memory uh, was an important chapter of our evolution. Uh, we didn't expect a so good reaction from critics, uh, uh, first of all, from the uh, international web scene. Uh, and guys all around the world, and uh, this pushed us to believe more in our possibilities. So, oh, wow, very cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna play a couple songs from you guys. Uh, all right. I'm gonna play the uh, last dance. Is there any backstory or, or anything behind this? Um, the last dance is the only song that uh, includes a uh, riff that is not uh, uh, was not originally wrote by. By us, uh, the, uh, the, there is a little um, riff uh, that um, our friend uh, wrote, and we play it as a tribute for his uh, help. Oh, very cool! It's a little uh, riff, but uh, for us it's important because it uh, means the friendship. Gotcha. All right, cool. Very. Um, I'm gonna play that now. This is Lamia with the last dance on the AsylumWildlifeRadio.com. Mm. 